morning, Robin. You're looking good. Are you ready for your best day ever? You've been planning it for months. Let's go check out what you got planned. So first off, you have office and the holy hour at 6.45 in the morning. It's one of your favorite times of the day and it sets the tone for the rest of your day as well. See you there. So after prayer, you'll go to breakfast. Today is Thursday, which means biscuits and gravy, your favorite meal. Go get some. <laughs> Once your stomach is filled, you go to class. Learning is one of the greatest things you can do here, and you love philosophy. Don't forget your pencil. You took a test last class, and you're pretty sure you aced it. Good job. You hear those bells? It's time for mass. The mass is simply the most important thing you can witness on this earth. It is the center of your life. The source of all the love you give or receive is made present on that altar every single day. This is your last chaplain's meeting of the year. You'll be told if they want you to return to seminary after summer break. But you know that it's God's will for you to That's my bad. Here, I'll go grab a towel. So you all did pretty good. Uh, there were a few of you who got lower grades than others, but it shouldn't affect your overall grade too much. Um, so I wouldn't be too worried, but if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And, oh, Mr. Audrey, I was just talking about the test from last week, and here is yours. So from my lecture today, I want to start with the metaphysical consequences of Aquinas' distinction between existence and essence. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you uh, feeling okay today, Robin? Uh, you sure you're not sick? Yes, Father. It must have been something I ate. After getting it all out, though, I do feel much better. Well, that's good to hear. I'm sorry that you had to miss Mass because of it. Oh, it's all right. God had other plans for me. There was really nothing else I could do. Well, as you know, today is the day that we're going to talk about whether or not the seminary will invite you back for next fall. So, Robin, do you think that you should come back next fall? Of course, Father. This is my home and I love being here. Ever since my first fervor, I have discerned a call to the seminary. My love for the priesthood and my desire to be like Christ have been the bedrock of my faith. I can't imagine myself doing anything else or being on any other path. Robin, I'm sorry, but there are some things that have happened that are cause for alarm. We, as a formation staff, are concerned about particular aspects of your behavior. And well, we don't believe that you should return. What? Robin, I'm asking that you discontinue seminary formation. But I don't understand. This evaluation has uh, all that you need to know. It has examples and explanations from each member of the formation team, and that should give you some context. Uh, what I would like to do is to uh, give one copy to your bishop and then uh, for this copy, I want you to agree to everything and sign below and then turn it back into me. Well, you want me to discern out? Yes, Robin. I will be obedient, of course, Father. But I still don't understand why I must leave. Can I take this with me and think about things? Of course, you could have, let's say, two days to think about it, come to me with some revisions or we can talk about, and then uh, ultimately uh, I'll have you uh, agree to it and sign. Thank you, Father. May I have your blessing? Of course, Robin. Dominus Fubiscum. Et cum spiritu. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris, et Filius, et Spiritus Sancti, Descenda Super Vos, et Meniat Semper. Amen.
Oh. <laughs> Hello, 911. I need an ambulance at my location right now. I just hit someone on the road. I'm on Highway AH uh, on a gravel road right by it. Uh, yeah, he's not moving. Uh, there, there's blood all over his head, his side. Uh, I, I can't look at it. Yeah, I, I'll stay on the line. 